here we are once again with the Honda Civic. I've got my helper here, ready for action. You ready, Luma? Are we doing this? Paw, give me the paw. Shake hands. Good. Okay, this time, as you can probably see, this guy here is not closing anymore. That one is, this one isn't. It was noisy before, it was making this trrrr kind of noise. And I've read the problem on I read about the problem on Google and it's a common problem. So Luma here is going to help me. So the plan is to remove the headliner. I know. Uh, I know Luma, it's going to be hard. Here, give me the pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so remove the headliner. In order to remove the headliner, I got to remove that pillar this pillar, possibly this plastic, the door, <laughs> gaskets, these plastics, this plastic, this pillar, oh my god, this is a job and a half. I've got the new, well new, same new, it's a new old mechanism, I've got it in my garage, so uh, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so I've started. I gotta remove all these. So we can kind of get a glimpse of it here. That's pretty nice. So the thing is, this is under that piece and under this piece. And upon further investigation, this piece is under this piece. So I have to take this one off also. God damn. So this is gonna be an interesting job. So I better start doing it. Let's take this plastic bit off. Right, I've got new clips like that, so I can just replace whatever old ones. <laughs> Let's see how the door closes without the keder on, without the gasket on. Oh, not bad. This has got two. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Safe. So long story short, I'm gonna take all the gaskets off, all the doors, and then get back to you with the plastics I know already how to take those two off that and that they've been off many times never took this off never managed to take this off although if I do there's some wires there that I need to sort out so that's a good thing the car without any gaskets this gives me a super cool Kind of in-depth inspection of the bodywork and nothing seems to be rusted. Thank you, Japanese people. Yeah. This also will give me the chance to route the camera wire and this uh, parking sensor wire better and probably do it more permanently. This is good. It's good. Uh, next thing I'll do is start removing all these things. So that, that, these handles. But first, these things. So with these, you gotta kind of have to angle them. They have one clip here, which is like the airbag clip. And that's the tough one. But if you pop it from the middle, And then another one here and you can kind of curve this out curve and pull like that see this is the airbag clip it's a bitch to get in there all right this is my phone charger and wire this is great I can actually route these properly now cable tie them to that or something all right so here we are the A pillar is gone, one of them. This track, by the way, sick, sick too. Man, the dust in this place, holy moly. This is on the driver's side. So the side that gets more usage, the passenger side is clean, clean. This one is like
passenger side pretty clean. Check out the driver's side. Man. So here it is so far. A and B pillars removed. B and A pillars removed. Now, in the past, ghosts, I had some issues with getting these off. These were very hard to take off for some reason. So I'm gonna attempt to do it again now. Let's see what happens. This guy, oh, you bastard. Got a clip here that you shouldn't break. God damn it. Okay. Now this thing is probably held by this screw. And maybe I don't have to remove this at all. Maybe I can just take this off, which would be great. So, let's try this. Take this plastic bit thingy off. Alright. This looks like a 14 mil. Man, this is long. Okay, sick. So it's locked here. You can't lose it. That's great. Thank you, Japanese people. All right, now let's try and release this one. My plan is to not remove this if I don't have to. So it seems like it's got one more clip somewhere. No, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Boom. It's coming out. I got that. I got that. It seems like something is still holding it. There is definitely something holding it. So, I have to remove all this stuff. So, uh -huh. Take this one out, which holds this. Oh man! Okay. Lock that from under the wheel, and then this can stay here. So I'll try though to see if I can remove it like that. So see, it's hold. It's held by. Okay, I get it. So it needs to come way down for me to be able to actually extract it. Okay, so there's been progress. This is somewhere hooked in there. So this came out the worst. Oh, oh. But check this out. It seems to be got a clip there. Yeah, there's one more clip in. Hey, hey freedom! Yeah. There we are. Success. Alright, this is so doable now. These things are easy. <laughs> nice. I gotta wash my hands again, because now I'll do the clean work, so to speak. So, it's, it's progress. Hey, yeah, man. Very good progress. I honestly started, and when I seen that uh, I gotta remove the complete B pillar and like that and that and that, I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be a job and a half. But no, he's getting there. Okay, and now for the fine jobs. For these plastics, there's a. Oh, oh, gee. 
there's a little hole here that you're supposed to pry things out with and another hole on the other side Jesus why is this so tough maybe you gotta do the holes in the same time let's see oh what the hell Okay, so this pulls the safety out, that's why, and that pulls the handle out. This is a pretty smart Japanese people. Okay, that's one. And that's the second one. Jesus. Boom! And now check this out. You bring these things together. Boom! One. Boom, two. And this doesn't go in there because it's held by them things. Sick. I can put this back here. Oh. So I don't lose them. Alright, so this thing here, I don't know if you can see it. I think I broke it last time when I opened it. There's this tooth here and it's kind of complete. I might be able to get away with it re-sticking it and then this one is broken also but this is only on one side so I'll get to that later to open these one two screws I don't think you need to take the bulb off necessarily so uh, let's see if I have any this is the car tool kit let's see if I have some there it is do a couple of these you kind of get the hang of them and then it becomes way easier to take them off holy smokes these tunes man these tunes man mate volen sentir i'm a fan i'm a fan bro so now this thing i've seen a guy you twist it one way and it just comes out maybe not this way maybe this way nope it's definitely this way <sighs> yeah there we are sick so you take out this thing I've seen him do of course I watched 10,000 YouTube clips on how to do this before attempting as you do, as you do. All right. Oh yeah, and this actually has a screw. Uh, you can take this lid off. All right. So I changed my mind. I've removed this because uh, there wouldn't be a way for me to not scratch it while removing the screws. This is a T25. There's two of them. There's one, and I'll do the other one. off now uh-huh it's got two wires in it and it's caught in here in something uh-huh man I love Japanese engineering there's one wire so this one should be mostly mine now I've seen on on this so I bought one of these new well old but new you know what I mean and it's got some really industrial type velcros somewhere here to here I'll check again before attempting to remove it so that's uh, this one here and now that's the last bit and this guy and then wash my hands again and attempt to remove it 
so this thing is held by these clips you just pull it out it comes out no problem and then you got two screws one two here that i can see i think that's it all right and now this should pop off as it does change it all right so this is out as well i'm gonna put this back in here and put these in storage okay so this is how it looks with all the bits taken out so i think it came time for me to inspect where those super duper velcros were and attempt to remove this thingy Woo! this is the way that i've added maybe i'm gonna root this properly now that everything come will come down now there's a little debate in my head like where to start so it's got one two velcros one two velcros aha uh -huh. let's start this side because this is already coming off so we Velcro is it feels like it's somewhere here. <laughs> so this is coming. Uh huh. There's a Velcro here. There's something here. There it is. Sounds like it's ripping. I don't want it to be ripping. Some clips there that were stuck to it, so some plastic tools. I think I might have to put this back so I can sit here. There's that clip here, and there's probably another one here. Yeah, maybe I can just clear it by doing this somehow. No, it does pop out eventually. Ah, there it is. It's out here. This will be. This will need re-sticking, but that's fine. No problem. Okay. And the wires are stuck to it. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next. Here we are. This is the headliner and all its glory. It's taken out. It's been a bitch to take it out, but we kind of managed to take it out this way. And that's how the car looks with no headliner. We're getting a factory kind of look on this car, baby. <laughs> getting deep in it. So there's one screw, two, three, four, probably five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 screws. Okay, it looks like 10 mil screws. So let's get, let's get popping. This is the heavy side, so I'll remove it like that. I think. One side drop first and then the other one. Or take these out, leave the center ones in, and then take the center ones out. I took down, I took off those screws, they're 10 mil screws, all of them. And I'll take out the back screws. So it's down to the last screws. That, that one and this one. And it should come, come out after these. Alright, so there's the car with the curtains off. So now let's extract this puppy. So this is how this car looks with no cur no curtains. Tesla's got nothing on us, babe. How about that? This is stuck in there with this double with this velcro thing also. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm thinking if I should just run the wires through here. Like through there and here. 
then again, when am I gonna do this again? All right, so this is my Tesla. That's how it looks. I've finished greasing up the the other assembly, so I'm just gonna put it in here. Debating if I should clean the glass before I think I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, here we are a bit later. The new one's in. I just need to adjust this gap, this tiny gap. I've rooted the wires through here, like that, bam, bam. This is gonna stay here, this is gonna stay here, this goes to the thingy. And then this one here goes here, bang, 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 and then the liner goes back on. This is the feed from the camera at the back. Not sure what to how to convert it. This has an input. It's a mini HDMI input. I'm not sure if you can connect any cameras to it. If it's gonna work. Might have to test it first. <laughs> 